Rob, are you even here? I don't even have the Discord pulled up. You might. Yeah, I made it. I'm. I'm <laughs> Am I, am I, am I here though? This, uh, yeah. What's going on here, Patrick? Well, so, uh, I used to have a really cool night vision camera and then it stopped working. And so I said, well, I should buy another one. So I bought something for under $20 that posited to be a night vision camera and it has here let me turn off my lights i'm i'm, I'm entering while well, these big monitors are pretty bright but if i turn on if i flick this switch it just it just hits me with two bright lights that are as though I, I, like if you're going down like a dark road and someone's got their brights on and then they don't turn them off and you just get blinded by them that's just this is basically what i've got going on on here it's terrible uh also probably um awful opsec i don't think motherboard will let me come near them anymore if they discovered the device that i've put into my machine i think they would consider me to be um not Wait, just like not a shitty in. is the shitty night vision camera like connected to your pc like yes like, hmm Potentially a problem. Too late also, now. Oh, you're, you're, you're get back here, mouse. Now entirely, and now I'm, now I'm spread across the frames. None of us make it. <laughs> Sorry, I have to plug in my cam, my camera, my other camera. It's happening. It was all, it was all, you know, it was all for the mediocre bit. Um, here we go. All right, I'm back. So the light hitting that bookshelf behind you is so blinding. We might need to put some matte paper over that. I don't know. Rob, you live. Um, we're going to play the thing. I don't know if... Oh, wow. Rock, um, uh, Kata, you told us that you had made a nice layout for this, and I didn't know what that meant. This is good. This is good. That's a lot of Kurt Russell surrounding us. Um, this is the thing for the PlayStation 2. I guess it also came out for the Xbox. And also there's a PC version. Um, but like like many games of that era that came to the PC, you should not try to play that PC version. It was like <laughs> what I came to understand upon like the little research uh, that I did. Most people seem to say, Hey Patrick, you should you should find that PS2 that you um you know used to play Kings Field and um yeah. like that old PS2 in the in the closet. Just like just pop a pop a disc of the thing into there. Um all right, so we're hit normal. I uh so I, I played I I didn't play any of this, but I, I obviously made sure things were on the up and up. I, I enjoy this way of di distributing like what what is oh, wow. easy normal and That's hard. amazing what an amazing graphic um it's great i love it um so we'll yeah so how normal. much of a gamer are you uh just a normal one just a just a just a normal you know regular old gamer oh i know uh <laughs> larson wait what <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, people are asking to turn up the game volume. People asking if there's subtitles. This is a PS2 game from 2002. <laughs> no. Are, Believe me, are. chat. I also wish there were subtitles. <laughs> I 
Okay, <laughs> Code Monkey Summer. Too bad they went with a CGI thing instead of a practical effect. <laughs> it's good. It's a good joke. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? That is a video game protagonist voice. Uh huh. That is a white guy sent in to solve a problem, Rob. Down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I can try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but there's a bit Great job hiding the rotor of that chopper in that shot. Okay. <laughs> we'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Just remember it's 40 below out there. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep your team together and get them to shelter as quickly as you can. The classic. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh, you know what I think something a little uh like blurry about this, Kato. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a look at it. I'm gonna see if I can I maybe it's like a like a parsec. Is that, oh no, it's our I I can't even do the bit, Kato. <laughs> It's already set. Never mind. Just pretend that didn't happen. Just pretend that didn't nothing that, that, that happened. As you play through the first round levels, text pop ups. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Needs to be up. Cold exposure. Okay. It's forty degrees below zero in the Antarctic. Yeah, I play Fahrenheit. So, oh god. So whenever you're outside, you'll suffer from the cold. An exposure meter, blue at the bottom of the screen, will show you how much you have, how uh, much time you have until temperatures begin to actually harm you and take away from your health. I don't like that the back button is triangle. That's it's not that's how it's not, done. No, it's not that circle. Thank you. Um, as you play the game, you'll be given objectives. These appear in the top left hand corner of the screen and are color coded. Green text shows an objective is still active. Orange text means an objective has been completed. You can check the status of all your objectives by pressing the select button to enter the keys, documents and objectives menu. Once in this screen, move the left analog stick up the highlight the document icon and then press the X button to view your objective. That's like a like, Rob, those are highly specific um, <laughs> like tutorials. Like you could just write like, I don't know, like head over to the select button and like you'll find the things you can play around with. And the game's like, no. Move the left analog yeah. stick up to highlight the document icon and press the X button, which of course has to be a graphic. Um, although I wonder if that is like a like a Sony dictated thing. It's like, you can't just put the letter X. You well, this is so back. cutting edge too. It's like people like, you know what I mean? You have to expel mm -hmm. stuff out. Uh, retrieve evidence, rescue enemy survivors, keep. Ooh, a little, little distortion on this uh, field of view situation here. Um, okay, hold on. I did look that there were, I can change these controls <laughs> and the controls I want are type C, which attach turn which is so type a the default yes controls do not attach Ooh. camera controls to the right analog stick in fact there is no turn option like you can sidestep let you can strafe as seen you know in r2 and l2 but it attaches zoom in and out and reload <laughs> to uh the right analog stick but if you go to type c you know just a different way of controlling the game uh, you know, you oh, you get to do the thing you want, which is like <laughs> to turn and like control it like a normal person. Very bizarre. Um, all right. Oh, wow. I'm getting some real flashbacks here. All right. So if I go back out, blue, you're starting to suffer exposure. Go back in. Good to go. All right, things have gone poorly here. Oh, man. Oh. Blake, you need anything repaired or even a simple bypass <laughs> and I'm the man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. So I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. <laughs> You know, when I saw him, I was worried he'd be a broad archetype. And I'm glad to see 
uh, we've really fleshed out. We've handled every character uh, with sensitivity and real depth. <laughs> They're more than just their roles. The medic doesn't want to carry a dead body out of here. <laughs> so humanitarian. The but marine, the, ready to make shit dead. It, aren't those in natural tension, Rob? That's true. Uh, boy, I hope this game explores. Like, <laughs> one is the life giver. One, the life taker. Communication. Your squad is made up of three different character classes that you can tell apart by their headgear. Soldiers <laughs> always have a tough camouflaged helmet on. Engineers don't go uh, anywhere without their trusty cap. <laughs> <laughs> and medics like to keep warm in a beanie with a red cross. <laughs> this is true. This is... Uh, engineers need trusty caps at all times. Um, and medics, look, if you, if you, if you're like, if you know, you know, it's a toque. It's the latest Twitter meme, you know, tag yourself. Are you the soldier with the tough camouflage helmet, the engineer with a trusty cap or the medic with a beanie on with a red cross in the front to keep warm? The members of your squad <laughs> are very much alive. They blink. They fidget when they are bored and they think for themselves. Be careful how you treat them as they are all trained veterans. Even if they are unarmed, they won't hesitate to take you down if they decide you are acting suspiciously. They will also communicate with you both verbally and with the use of icons that appear over their heads. Hey, wait, this is wildly exciting. For an explanation of the overhead icons, refer to your field manual. Interact with your team, press the circle button. The faces of any members of your squad close enough to receive orders will appear to show you their current physical and emotional state. You also see a group command in the center of the faces. This is the... There's a lot going on here, Rob. This is the follow or stay command. Highlighting this and pressing the X button will tell all the squad members shown to either follow you or stay where they are. As you move, the highlight around the screen... As you... As you move the highlight, oh, as you move the highlight around the screen, that's what commas are for. Um, uh, the, the highlight on the screen, uh, uh, a box in the bottom left hand corner of the screen will give you information on what you currently have highlighted and available controls. It's, that was a lot of. Okay, so you move the highlight around the screen. You do not move, the, you move the highlighter. So I hit circle to use a highlighter. We'll try that after I finish this. Okay, as is already been explained, your squad mates are. T- with this? <laughs> The way this is written, like, hey, dumbass, like, <laughs> you read the earlier tutorial. Actually, tip. hold on, though. No, this isn't just the dumbass stuff. I want to say, this reminds like, this is when games are wildly overpromising what, like, they lifelike behavior they can model in. Like, I'm getting such a black and white vibe mm-hmm. from this, mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, it, they learn and exhibit, like, uh, you know, intelligent, uh, neural net AI-driven <laughs> behaviors and decision-making. <laughs> Uh, Egan works per my last tutorial text box. <laughs> uh, your squad mates are intelligent people and they'll react to your actions based on how much they trust you. When to enter the squad menu, you see a bar above the names of each squad member that shows their current level of trust. For any squad member, if his level of trust is in the green section, it means he trusts you and will take orders and help you throughout your mission. If his level of trust is in the orange section, it means he doesn't trust you and won't help you but he isn't yet convinced you're an enemy, so he won't attack you either. If his level of trust is in the red section, it means he doesn't trust you at all and sees you as an enemy. Okay, so I hit circle there. This is like, you could make the, you use these same mechanics uh, where you're like an Amazon fulfillment center uh, (laughs) manager and you're trying to figure out how long before everyone unionizes against you. They're going to want those managers. They want those managers to end up dead, you know? Yep. Um, all right. So. Interact. How do. Oh, I see. Okay. So if I hold, if I go up, I can interact with North. Select. All right. Stay. Oh, my go God. T- go I, to. I am dying. I am. Give to. Take weapons and oh ammo. I would not do that to you, North. But where can I where can I send you to? Go to okay. So these locations will radio fill in. menu. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> oh, are you okay, Rob? Do you need a but minute? I feel it's starting to make sense. Uh, well then, okay. So these are all the same like generic commands. 
Okay, so oh, so North has a machine gun. I have a machine gun. Submachine gun, well, please. Uh, okay, thank you. Weldon um, doesn't have a weapon. Burroughs has a pistol. Presumably, I will find other weapons, and then I guess my lesser ones I could give to the other, the other guys. Uh, and then, oh, so empty slot. Group stay. Uh, like, cause I, can't, I can't really do anything with that yet. Oh, there wasn't I supposed to be able to see like their emotional states? How? Well, they're green, right? Isn't that? I or... get. Oh, okay, does it only appear in this menu? Okay. Well, hold on. Now, now I already forget. That, no, the 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 color bar is their trust level in you, right? Is there a different? Yeah. Emotional overhead state? icons. Overhead icons are one way in which you squad members communicate with you. Here are all. The... Oh boy. Here are all the different icons that exist and what they mean. Trust, fear icons oh hold on i want to point out that i use the d-pad to scroll up and down between different options the left analog stick to manipulate the dialog box here below um my trust has gone from high to low my trust has gone from low to zero my trust has gone from low to enemy level oh my god rob did peter molyneux like design this game is this a, a black and white situation my trust has gone from I now see the player as an enemy. Uh, my trust has gone from high. Luke, <laughs> Rob, my trust has gone from high to buddy. What did you do? I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying that's one of the options. Incredible. It goes from incredible. So buddy is I think like buddy is the ultimate like buddy okay. is. That's like you and I discover the balconies on the William Vale. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, we're buddies. Like we were yeah. friends, but now we're but our, our trust level was high, but now we're buddies. Uh, my fear has gone from danger to crack up level one, crack up level two, crack up level three. Okay, those are the trust and fear options. Miscellaneous. I am talking. <laughs> Enemy spotted. I am losing health. Action items. I guys. I am in man down, min health. I need ammo. No. The capitalization here is 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 questionable. I I, need I ammo? guess when you I when you when you need ammo, there are no lowercase letters involved. You need you need ammo. I can undertake an action. Engineers only. Trust. Oh, synopsis. Okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so wait, your engineer could probably start repairing these things. Yeah. Yeah, basic junction boxes. Whenever you see a hand icon, it means that you can do something by pressing the X button. So look out for it when exploring environments or dealing with your squad. The junction box in front of you is a basic one. When you walk up to it, a message will appear in the center of the screen to tell you the name, tell you the name of the junction box. You will also see a picture of a hand and a yellow bar at the bottom of the screen. This tells you that you can fix the junction box by yourself. To fix it in uh, press on the X button, you'll see yellow bars start to fill up when it's full, repair is complete. You can release the interact button at any point to stop fixing the junction box. If you hold, then return to it and hold the X button again, the repair will continue from where you left off. I presume it's suggesting the game will recognize you're trying to repair something and send an enemy after you. Oh, it's this. Okay. Was he just like, was he pissed that I did it myself? Uh, was that that little, like, that little icon? Is that what it meant? Are these environment, like, can I read this? No. Okay. So is this the room from the thing? Like, I mean, the no. radios are all smashed up and it kind of looks like it. Oh! Look, what computers were different in the 80s. <laughs> what? Is that, that the one that he... It's because it's, it's cause Kurt Russell poured all that whiskey. That's what I was going to say. Is that the one? Whenever you've got low enough health or any of your squad members are hurt bad enough that they go into man down state. Buddy, Rob, when you have to... When you've come up with your terminology for the state of the character and then you have to go into a parenthesis that is a full sentence kneeling on the floor be careful when a member of your squad is in this state it is only a matter of time until they die unless they are healed 
Bring your medic within close proximity to the injured person. He will automatically heal them. The medics you meet throughout the game, also they're saying some of these medics are going to die, uh, can heal any member of your squad with the exception of themselves. <clears throat> so you'll need to keep an eye on your medic's health and heal him yourself when he is injured. Okay. Also, weapons. So wait, did I just get healed? That just... Oh, no. Look at that. Okay, thanks, buddy. Is your relationship strengthened? No. no I don't know. Happened. All right, so, well, you know what, Weldon? Because of that, let's give my buddy a gun. Weldon give to squad gun. member. He doesn't want a gun. He just wants to give life. Well, he's going to have to only have ammo. Did I give him ammo? I'm not sure. It says you only have ammo in this slot. Giving ammo is a back menu? What do you mean a back menu? No, go to. Say. Take weapons and ammo. No, I wanted to give it. Hmm. Did we have ammo? I thought so. Yeah, it says there was ammo in the slot. Yeah, he's looking for ammo. Center circle on the give menu. Oh, I see. Okay, get him. You've got it now, buddy. Let's see. Okay. Oh, hell yeah! Did you see that, Rob? Man, boy, you look, I like it. this guy. He, he knows what he has to say, which is that he's not going to be shooting anything up, but... But he want to get strapped up. Yeah, he's, he's thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so can we make the dudes move that table so we can crawl through the... Oh, wait. Oh. Excuse me? Um, also, just pointing the pistol. So that just opens that door. Did that do something? Oh! Blue. Yeah. So I guess interact interactable oh, objects will fast. Whoa. Oh man. Oh, this is no, the pool room. Yeah, no team bonding with the pool table. No. Not for this team. Locked doors. Not all doors will require you to fix a junction box. Some of them are just plain locked and require a key. The door in front of you is a locked door. You'll need to find the key in order to open it. The key could be nearby or far away, on a table or in the hand of a corpse. When, uh, whenever you find the key for a locked door, simply return to it and it'll open automatically. Hint! The key to this door is hidden underground. Uh, -oh. uh That also gave me back... Oh my cold. That's fine. That did, the, the, oh yeah, you know if you stand if you stand in an alcove of a doorway, um, you're sheltered from the elements. You're fine now. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to get over here. I was wondering what that sound was. That's you crunching through the snow. You know, mm -hmm. I admire the effort. They say I need to go underground, so... Is that Blair's cabin? That's what I was wondering. Oh. 
Yeah. We got like, a, per, we got like a weird perspective shift. Okay. Well, maybe I gotta get there a different way. But just throw yourself down this little. Oh, that's I've taken as much as I can. Okay. All right, so this is gonna refill all my stuff. Rob. Yeah. What the hell? Tim Tebow. <laughs> I feel like that ship looked a lot more complete. In oh, they blew it up. <laughs> that's why it looks less complete. UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Wow. Look at this badass. I think it's, you know, fairly reasonable to encounter a UFO and go, hey man, that's pretty fucked up. Ah, the iconic locations from the thing. Okay, so we got that key. Picked up that pistol ammo. A fire extinguisher. Okay. Do I want to... We've got 20, 50. So does that mean... Is the 1 out of 20 mean he's caught, like, loaded one bullet? He right, is it round or magazine? Bullet? Yeah. No. All right. But I feel like there'll be some sort of tutorial before the... Well, <laughs> tutorial might be a strong word for... Uh, text be a lot dump. Of text. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking I. Audio log. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. Is this a Kurt event, Russell impersonator? I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. Wait, is that actually from the movie? Is that just like... It sounded like the message he records. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can always come back here and get more of these. Kind of annoyed that I can't break these crates, though. Pretty tempted to shoot them. Not gonna do it. Gonna gonna hold back. Show restraint. If I was playing this game by myself, I'd be <laughs> finding the nearest safe location and sh shooting those crates. Uh, yeah, there was that like. What's the trigger? Like an act, like a camera change that was not supposed to happen until you're actually supposed to go to that area. What was that noise? Oh, that's us. Okay, well. It's slightly maddening. Ooh. Gain access to the infirmary completed. I like that the C is capitalized. Just let me know. Advanced junction boxes. In front of you is an advanced junction box, and only your engineer can fix these. Takes your engineer to fix an advanced junction box, you need to first identify the junction box by walking out to it until its name appears as you would for a basic... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there are two ways that you can ask your engineer to fix it. First, if your engineer is close enough to the junction box, the I can fix it icon will appear automatically over his head. So I guess that, that might have been the icon we saw before uh, while I was doing it. This allows you to walk up to him and press the X button, which tells him to fix the junction box. The second way to have your engineer fix the junction box is to bring up the squad menu by pressing the circle button. 
select your engineer, then select the <clears> go to <throat> option, the command on the left, and lastly select the junction box you want him to go fix. He will then go fix it. Where is that it? The thing that's sparking there? No, my get in here. Okay, the soldier doesn't want to come in. Power supply. Oh, yes. Got it. Okay. Hell yeah. Buddy. Okay, I'll run is, faster. Is Follow there us a in. Oh my god. Okay, I'll run a little bit more over here. Did you get in? Okay, good. Dramatic reveal. Ah, oh Christ, what is that? <laughs> VO! Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. <laughs> that is an extremely chill reaction! Your squad members are always conscious of their circumstances and the environment around them. And when they've seen too much, they will begin to lose it. To see how a squad member is handling his situation, activate the squad menu by pressing the O button and... Circle, please. Circle button and pay attention to his picture. If he's doing okay, he'll, he'll casually be looking from left to right. If he's noticeably frightened, he'll be looking all around at a panic speed. If he's close to outright losing it and cracking up, he'll be shaking uncontrollably. To reduce your squad member's fear, try giving him a weapon or get him to follow you out of the area. Refer to your field manual to find out about different things you can do to calm your squad members when fear gets to them. CPT, uh, little, <laughs> you give them some anti-anxiety uh, medications. How do we feel, you know, games have meditation, frequently. guided meditation. Yeah. So yeah. here's a question, though. Uh-huh. Should you take that gun back from that guy? Well, the game is so very specific in saying giving the weapon calms them because they're Americans. Well, but I also made a mistake by, like, being like, I, I got an extra weapon. I was like, I'm going to give him the weapon. And he was chill. He was excited by it. But does that negate, like, I guess I'm wondering, like, the buddy meter went up. But now he's going to be kind of anxious. Were those, like, was I actually supposed to wait to, like, give it to him here for it to? Uh, let's find out. Bring it up. Uh-oh, yeah. Weldon. Okay, what if I? <sighs> give right, me your so... go. Take your yeah, take. <laughs> okay, but now we give you a gun. Here, okay, we're down. Good. Oh, dude, oh, oh Rob, no. Rob, 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 Rob. We gotta give him that. Give him his quick. Give him his gun back. Oh, oh so we've ne nine out of twenty. That is it's gotta be like, the the number of rounds, right? Yes. So are you carrying an empty SMG? Is that maybe. It's alright, I'm fine. Dude, <laughs> he points that fucking gun it. at me. Hold on, bring the menu back up. So I I okay, I will say this. When I played the game earlier to just check out the controls and make sure thing was the up and up, I could fire my gun. So I do have some rounds that I can use. Um, so I'm not sure how these numbers work. Exactly. Okay. Can I examine this? Oh, I can, but I can pull some ammo off that body. Okay, buddy. Well, we, we'll get out of here. The game said, get them to follow you. Adrenaline. Okay, you picked up an adrenaline and hypo. In situations, squad members are suffering from extreme stress. Using an adrenaline, adrenaline hypo on them will call them for a short time. To use an adrenaline hypo on a squad member, press the square button, size your inventory, and then press the X button on the icon to the center of the screen to take you to your items. Press the left analog stick in the direction of the adrenaline syringe and press the X button when it is highlighted. Now press the triangle button to return. <laughs> 
to return to the game and approach the squad member used to wish to use the adrenaline. To use the adrenaline syringe, press the L1 button. Hold on. The squad member will not temporarily calm down, but you'll need to get him away from whatever's causing him to be afraid with the effects of the adrenaline wear off. Wait. Wait. We're but they're cool adrenaline now. Adrenaline to calm them down. Yeah, but they're look. We were cool. We walked away from the dead body. Um, they're back to the looking from left to right, which now <laughs> I'm watching them all do it in unison. Um, it feels like they got thinged. Um. Okay, so I press square. This brings up my inventory menu. View items. Got Air the adrenaline. Horn, adrenaline. A flare. I've got this fire extinguisher. So I could select this and use it and then press L1, but I'm not because I'm going to trust that the left to right is telling us that we're okay. Did I get it like a... Oh, a note. Oh, okay. Hold, yeah, wait, what? hold on. Oh, hey, select. There's a lot of, a lot of menus here. View keys. Oh, objectives. Keep team alive active. Okay. I don't... I'm not... Oh, that's something else. Oh. Although contact with an infected entity does not guarantee infection, there is still between a 50 and 70% chance of... That is highly... Both, both vague and highly specific. Does... That doesn't mean just by standing in that room. Well, I mean, like, there, there, so there is the scene in the thing where they're doing, you know, uh, Wilford Brimley is doing the autopsy and he scares everyone by saying, like, the cells are still alive, right? Like, they don't actually know what constitutes, like, death for it, although they, they like, conclude that, like, fire will, will do it. And so I think this is Im implying that the, I think the, the entity has left that that right. body. <laughs> I, I don't think that is going to affect us. He's a discarded rapper. Yeah. Oh boy. Access code doors. The door in front of you is an access code door and you'll need an access code before it will open. Access codes can be found written down as part of computer terminal messages. You do not have to make a note of these codes as Blake can remember them. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Blake. Also, I forgot his name was Blake. When you found the access code for a door, go up to the access panel next to the door and press the X button to open it. Look for... The access code to this door return when you found it. Hint, access codes are usually just a series of numbers and may not be obviously labeled. This is seriously, like you're like, this is a lot of reading. Uh, I think, I think uh, Jess mentioned earlier that this is like the manual for a Euro game. And I 100% agree. This is basically a trader game, but like with a, 3D like third person interface but like predominantly this is about like moving your characters around and having them do tasks the virus has the ability to replicate the original biological entity including the clothing what that's I guess huh I guess I didn't really think about that in the context of the movie I guess I just assumed it like replicated the flesh and that the clothes just came with it. Not that, that it was actually replicating the clothing as well. It's not. Oh boy. Oh, oh my oh. God, Rob. I've compiled a five page. I'm going to read all five pages <laughs> from the autopsy performed on the anomalous corpse that was discovered at the Norwegian outpost. Um, oh, is did they bring a body back from the Norwegian outpost? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it appears that what we are dealing with is some kind of a self repairing entity that has the ability to morph itself into different biological forms. Access to medical supplies is limited to myself. Gary code one one three eight. That's the you know what information Whitley was talking about. I got to find that report. Um, you know, we were talking about, am I doing good OPSEC with the cheap webcams that I buy? Um, no. Uh, is this facility, Outstation 31 or whatever, doing good OPSEC with their access codes? I'm not sure either. <laughs> okay, I guess I got enough. So wait. <laughs> Does the medic 
have an infinite supply of medical supplies by virtue of their character. Uh-oh. Okay, buddy. By virtue of their character class, or do I need to supply them with medical supplies? I feel... They seem to imply that, look, he's going to take care of everyone else, but you need yeah. to heal him, right? And that you also have these supplies, I guess, if you didn't have a medic. I'm going to choose to, to believe that's how it works at the moment. Oh, come on. I need that other data. Oh, can I do this one? Do you want, uh, do you want to do it, bro? I will not stop. All right. Will that get me buddy points? I don't need to do that. I want you to feel good. Saving the game. Audio recorders allow you to save your progress. To save a game, go up to the audio recorder until the hand icon appears and press the... Okay, no. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, Center Essex. Uh, so, Patrick, at E3 2001, did you get the, your Thing poster signed by John? Was he there? I, guess I could see him being there, doing some appearance. No. My first E3 was 1998. 2001, I probably hadn't even seen the Thing at that point. What's our, what are we trying to do now? We need the report? Yeah. I don't know, let's go out this door. Let's follow those red... That's, that seems like a video game thing to do. What is that? What is that? Yeah, is that a... Um, let's see. View items. Oh. No, I picked, I already picked, I picked up Metapacks earlier. Well, hmm. well, what did I just grab? These temperatures are going to kill me. Okay, we're finding, we're finding the boundary box. Whitley, this is Blake. What have you got? One body. Identification says childs, no survivors. And what appears to be a... One body? And, 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 and what? And some kind of unidentified craft. It looks... Well, like a, a UFO. Colonel? Colonel! Roger. I'll have a chopper there ASAP. There's a supply crate that was dropped earlier near the base. It contains C4 charges. I want you to rig all the remaining buildings oh. and I'll remote detonate them from here. Affirmative. I'll contact you when we're finished. So wait, McCready got up and left? Well, guess we know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Collect the C4 explosives. Completed. I did it. Plant C4 in the infirmary and in the radio room. All right, well, it's... R.I.P. Childs. Sorry. All right, let's head back. Man, I'm so glad now. I'm always going to know that like a day or two after the end of that, that scene, that scene, these guys show up. <laughs> it really enhances your, your, you know, the, the, the melancholy ending. Yeah. To that film. Childs died alone. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll just go to the big red icon. Okay. Plant yeah, C4 yeah. in the infirmary completed. I was going to say those things look like satchel charges, but I wasn't sure if there'd be satchel charge content in this game. So wait. Presumably, like, this group is, like, the first time they're having, like, any encounter with, like, things having gone wrong here. And they're yeah. really jumping to, like, some quick conclusions of, we should just blow it, we should just blow it all up. We just fucking blow it up. Um, I mean, I realize things look bad, 
But I, they don't really know what happened here. Why are we just immediately blowing everything up? Return to the evac point. Oh, so this was just like tutorial area. Hey, go back to the original spot of the game. Yeah. Um, where's the evac point? Okay, maybe back where we were. Uh, over here, probably? Oh, uh, do you have to run down in the cave to put one on the UFO thing? I don't think so. I think it said they blew up that UFO. Hey, where's, uh, Banks? Oh, I guess you just get, like, a little Gross. bit out of the... Um, the, uh, select. Oh. Are these all the... Oh, okay, that's... Return, okay, yeah, completed, completed, completed. Return to evac point. I guess it's probably, maybe I just didn't go close enough to where I came from. No, oh, no. Nope. Colonel, we've completed the explosives placement. Standing by for evac. Anything from Alpha Team? Negative. There's Good an Alpha storm. Team. Must be. Probably the storm. I've been getting partial transmissions for the last hour or so. I'm going to assemble my team. When the chopper arrives, I'll have it drop me at Alpha's rendezvous. Negative. You have your orders, Captain. Don't put this mission in jeopardy. I understand, Colonel, but I don't have much choice. Pierce's team is in trouble. Besides, if there are any survivors, I'm the only one on the team that speaks Norwegian. Blake out. Would have been useful in the original film. All right, cut to title card. The thing. Assimilation complete. <laughs> Blake, do you read me? Roger, Colonel. This is Blake. Have you found anyone yet? Nothing yet. I just arrived. The storm is worsening. It may take a while to find anything. Looks like that little stunt of yours might pay off. I don't understand, Colonel. I received a partial transmission from Pierce. He's found something. Might be research. Find him and get back to me ASAP. Affirmative. Did he say if there were any hostiles in the area? Negative. No hostiles. Okay, I'm on it. Blake out. What if this game was just, you did, they actually killed the thing? And, you know, you just show up to collect some, <laughs> some vials, you know? Light poles exist to guide people from one location to another when blizzards hamper visibility. Use them to help you discover new areas. But don't be afraid to explore beyond them either. <laughs> so Pierce was out of touch, but just happened to radio in and let everyone know he'd found some interesting stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So that's gotta be a few thousand volts. I gotta find the power source. And now I got none of my buds, and I gave him a bunch of. I gave him one of my weapons. Does that mean all your buds are safe? Are they just leaving now? I hope so. This is getting, getting a little creepy, Rob. Power supply. Is this how doors work? You know? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh. Do I have... How... Okay, gun. Oh, man. Yeah, things went poorly in here. Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Some. I don't know what they were, but they attacked us. I thought they was part of the... The... the, the wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. 
Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station, five clicks south of here. Ah, uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move, I'll see what I can do. I can shoot you in the head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> are we... I think we can... I mean, if we're just cut, you know, I feel like... If you or a squad member is injured, no medic is available. You do have the ability to heal him on your own using medical kits. Squad members will indicate their need for health by showing the I need health icon over their head. When this is visible, you can automatically use a medical kit on the injured squad member by approaching them pressing the X button. Alternatively, if you equip a medical kit, you can heal an NPC by approaching them and pressing the L1 button, or use it on yourself and pressing the L1 button when there are no other squad members close to you. See how much health a squad member has at any time, activate the squad menu. At the bottom of this particular panel is a red meter. The fullness of it tells you how much health he has. It's also important to know that your squad members are in man down state when they're knelt down and bleeding. Move quickly to heal them when they're in this <clears> condition <throat> or they'll eventually bleed to death. Okay. You're... Oh my god. <laughs> Carter isn't sure if he trusts you, and he won't cooperate with you until he does. By giving him a weapon and some ammunition to gain his trust. Go to the squad menu, member menu by pressing the circle button. Highlight Carter and press the X button. Now highlight the command I got to the right. Give to the squad member and press the X button. Move the highlight to one of your weapons and give the button mark. Give to the squad member. You have not given Carter a weapon. Now look at his trust meter. Receive it as the green section. Now not let go of the analog stick to highlight the icon at the center and press the X button. So give Carter the ammo for your weapon. Because in the subsequent times, we'll give Carter more ammo. One. Okay, so this answers the question we had. <laughs> I feel like if this were a text adventure, it would be clearer. It would be more graceful. Sorry, I just, you know, I started rapping there. This is what happens to me when I start reading extensive tutorials. Pressing the button subsequent times uh -oh. will give Carter more uh -oh. ammo. A one clip for each button press. So not bullets. You're giving him a bunch of... Okay. So like when it was 9 out of 20, he can reload that gun 9 times. I see. Oh, you gave him way too much. Yeah. Yes, I did. Alright, so Carter is having a bad time. I did heal him a little bit. Um... Oh, interesting. Cannot give order because trust is too low. Cannot take his weapons because trust is too low. Fair. Cannot give order. Okay, all right. I don't... I don't have a gun to give him, Rob. Do I give him my gun? <laughs> Hi, Mina. Hi. Yeah, you're good. Rob, do I give him my gun? No. You get... You... Wait, you healed him though, didn't you? It did. So he, and that didn't. Maybe I can get another gun. I he mean, not. He can you ventilate him? Because this is the most obviously thinged person I've ever seen. Closed circuit TVs are useful information gathering tools. Use the look controls, left honest and honest by default to pan around. What? Oh. Well, I'm gonna have to turn the power on to access those, I guess. Okay, so he just doesn't trust me. Looks like I need an access code. Yep, I agree. I need an engineer to open that. Can I get through? Ah, oh, fuck, man. Did I, like, screw up by, like, getting ahead of myself on... No. What did I just... What was that? Can you give him adrenaline? Oh, hey. Hey, guy who doesn't trust me. Take a shot of this. How do I use this torch? Select. Select. Is this doing anything?
L1. Oh, right, because L1 uses the items. Um, all right, I really wanted to find another weapon around here, but I'm... I'm not finding one. Shit. It's sure seeming like I need to... Oh, what's this? Um... I don't know what I just picked up. Oh! Am I... Am I scared? I don't know what just happened there. Well, there was also a sound, like... Hey, hey buddy. Man. What's up? Uh, no, you seem cool now. Okay. Trust. Okay, I'm gonna give him my fucking gun. Okay, fine. This doesn't seem... You can't give him anything else? You can't give him, like, a adrenaline? Nothing. Or... <laughs> this is Captain. fucked. Oh, you need... Oh, sorry. You need ammo, too? Oh, does he trust me now? And can I... Get him... Hey, hey, hey. Can you... Oh, come on. All right. Yeah. Hey, looks like your last girlfriend. There's layers to that not making sense. Well, Rob, I don't know if you understand, but he's a black guy in a um, action, uh, you know, 80s movie. He has to have a bunch of one-liners. So, um, yeah, he's just he's just your buddy now. Yes. He's just Carl Weathers <laughs> in, you know, yeah. the, the Predator. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> what's going to happen? Well, Get you out of your freaking mind. Did he just flip me off? Whatever, dude. I'll get you a gun. I guess I kind of want to start the game over and pull a Rob Zachney and keep that fucking pistol. It's like your last girlfriend. Uh, lucky the hyena. Honestly, I trust him more. The thing wouldn't flip you off. That's a good point. We're all going crazy. This thing is in the ice. Don't know who is you and who isn't. Morale's low, and I don't think our chance is Dear Journal. <laughs> Got some thoughts I need to get down before the night's up. There's gotta be something in here that can help me. Cool. Wait, hold on. <gasps> yes! Oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's save again. Progress was made. But now he won't come with me because it's for the best. <sighs> Is it though? I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> do I do I even have that weapon equipped? How do weapons work? John Milk said, "If I was a billionaire, I'd make Remedy remake this game in a New York minute." Oh my God! Yes. Okay, now it's equipped. I see. Uh, hey, Blake, 
Where'd you come from? I received some partial transmissions from Pierce. It sounded like there was a problem. Shit, you got that right. We got ambushed by these things. I don't know where they came from, man. Dang. Everybody lost it. The squad split up. Have you talked to Pierce? I got part of a radio message from him. He said he was at the north section of the base. He was talking some... some medical mumbo shit. He said he wanted to talk to the colonel. The colonel hasn't contacted you? Man, I haven't heard shit from anyone. Yeah, Kyla, can we get a thing count Let somewhere in the corner? Radio. Blake to Colonel Whitley, do you read? Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent. Okay, great, thank you. Don't do that back. You know what? Right, this is why Waypoint gets along. Days. We're on the same wavelength. Rolls. Okay, so I got Cruz. What do you got? <laughs> Do I really got to be the asshole who says we got in that thing and it was an alien sarcophagus? Oh, Cruz, give me your weapon. You don't have one. Hey, what we got here? I don't know. What did I just pick up? Dude, this game is inscrutable. <laughs> Code Monkey. Now I want a video game. Now I want video game sequels to other beloved cinematic classics. Where a bunch of U.S. military guys go through the scenery and do military stuff. Friday the Thirteenth, <laughs> affirmative. Toy Story, Roger. Citizen Kane, area secured. <laughs> See, this is what I would do if I was rich, right? Like, just hey, I've got billions of dollars. I'm going to go give some people some money to remake the thing. Just go do it. Uh. Oh, it was another fire extinguisher, I think, is what I picked up. Well, I guess I'm just leaving my buddy for a little while. That's not your buddy. Uh, okay. I mean, you're not wrong. But there's not... He he flicked me off. Did you see the way this guy walked? How, how he was introduced? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. I think he meant this guy. Because this guy's oh, got... Oh, no, yeah. This, no, guy, this, this guy, guy needs to get... Yeah, he's... He, yeah, I, I no. would... In fact, here, hold on. Yeah, can you? I, we're going to test out the limits of the game's mechanics. So I don't know how to fire a gun because we haven't gotten that part in the game. I'm going to assume it's maybe R, R2. <laughs> okay, well, that sets up my shot. Well, no. X, X, X. Nope. Oh, he, uh, that is the man downstate, <laughs> Rob. Um, so what, I, oh, I actually do want to go see what happens. Like, what is, heal? Okay. A member of your team has died. Oh, so you fail a mission if they die. I wonder if that changes as like the scope of. It's got to because you got you're gonna have to light your your team up at some point. What does restart level mean? It doesn't seem like that's is that gonna start me from the beginning of the area? Maybe I'll get your pistol back. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Nope. No. All right. How do I put it out? It's gone. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so people are saying later in the game, you know, you won't, you, you don't get like immediately penalized for someone dying. You kind of have a, a cast you're rotating through. That makes more sense. Um, I need an engineer. Oh, oh my, my fucking god! god. <laughs> Fuck this! I almost want to restart the game and not like just speed through that first passage. No, 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 Rob. So you're this... just, just gonna give this man your gun? I am. Fine, 
need to fuck I have it again. Just um, go to. Yep. Oh, maybe you will get us out of this. Did that not? I know when somebody hands me an empty weapon. <laughs> go to power grip yeah. controls. I couldn't do it. Is it because I was standing in your way? <sighs> okay. <sighs> yes. I like. I interrupted his action. His walking animation is suspect. <laughs> look, look at that. Does that look like a human? It does make me less suspicious of the other dude. They all sort of move like little weird marionettes. Where's he going? Back to his post? And will you... Yeah. Follow. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that back. No, this game on. keep just open yeah. the next door. Oh, so what did you unlock with the power controls? Um, it's a good question. It's double dead. It, <laughs> I like how they just stocked this game with like meathead soldier archetypes. Uh huh. Like it's He's the thing, but dead. everyone's just a dumbass like squatty. Maybe it's something back here. Oh right, there was that whole thing that was sparking. Ah! Oh shit. Well, we fucked this up because I have the ammunition. Give. <laughs> no, I need the gun back. Sorry, I need that gun. I need the gun. Let's let him do it. All right. Yes, sir. to go all right hey let's let, let's let's have let's let my mans do it these things aren't shit okay you uh, got them. can you follow all right i'll just i'll just, you know, i'm just uh, i'm a point guard oh where's my weapon oh dude 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 he shot him well yeah, but you know this... what? It was fine. Okay, uh... Where? Um... No, yeah. Select. <laughs> Alright, he's freaked out, but like... Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so then I have to switch well. to uh, the torch. He's okay. You, you, for Cruz, you're gonna be fine. Oh, that's like a nasty little bugger. Get him! I need a weapon. I'm aware. We all need weapons. Okay, now Cruz is chill. <laughs> How many are? Dude, I don't know. Dude, Cruz is on point. Like, or I mean, uh, Carter's on point. Okay, that's ammo for a pistol that we don't have. <laughs> Meanwhile, that medic is flying out of Antarctica with 
a pistol and like <laughs> 70 rounds. Come on, any please. Oh, please let there be a gun in here. Oh, fuck. Those are grenades. Smoke grenades. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Give me a fucking pistol. Regular grenade. Okay. Like, am I supposed to equip the grenade? Like, I haven't used any... I don't even know how shooting works in this game yet. Hey, this doesn't look passable. Well, I have... You know, for a oh, game that has yeah. endless tutorial text, you, the, gun, the shooting starts, we're not going to tell you how to shoot. There's clearly a space where I need to use this. We're just not going to bring that up. But don't worry. Um, <laughs> the designer that came up with the way the AI, the AI subroutines work, he's going to give you... 2,000 words of fucking text about how the, uh, the bubbles work on the top of his characters. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> how did... Okay. Metal loss. I don't have a weapon. Are, are you just not coming with me? My friends will not come until that fire is out. Oh my god. Okay. And now, and now they'll walk. Okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> this game is going to turn me into the Joker. <sighs> Remember, the game said, don't be afraid to explore. So what do you think we're supposed to be? So this is where we came in, right? Where's that From... Yeah, but off to your left is where that sparking impassable thing was, right? Right. But there was a there was a spot we could go to. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. I want to go back now. No, this is what but the game No, I know, but there was that. something down to the right. I want to make sure I Oh my god. As you've already expect, experienced, the very small thing beast can easily be dealt with using normal weaponry. That's what we witnessed in the movie. Remember that part where they, they dispose of a number of small thing beasts <laughs> uh, with the normal weaponry? <laughs> However, any other form of the thing requires a two-stage attack. First, you'll need to use normal weapons to reduce its health. The thing's health is shown by the color of the auto-aiming God give me grace is shown by the color of the auto aiming target with red representing the lowest level of health. Once the thing beast is on minimal health, move in with a flamethrower to finish it off. Only fire can actually kill the thing beast, so make sure to look out for incendiary weapons and keep a good stock on you at all times. Rob, do we have any incendiary weapons? No. Wait, am I just... Did I go to the next level? <laughs> Where are we? At the next. It feels like we went through a dimensional portal. Fucking saw. That spot that I could go back to. Can I go around? Let me, let me in! Let me in! Only way out is through. 
Oh my god, I am furious. What if there was a pistol down there? I mean, Patrick, you could, we could restart and you could get through all this stuff so fast. I am kind of curious if you've, like, already found a way this game just gets irrevocably fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop shooting! <laughs> yes! He's running low on ammo. Oh, yeah, I bet you are, buddy. The gun. The gun. Okay, I'm gonna make a new save, because we might go back to the old save. <laughs> Do I even have any more ammo to give you? Okay. <laughs> what, what were you responding to? Maybe I gave him more ammo. What? What? Hey, that guy's got a gun? Flamethrower man. Let me in. Can I go in here? <laughs> Heat up. All right, maybe I need to go somewhere else and come back. Gun. I'd like a gun. Okay, dog goes. Dude, it just. Oh man, it got him in the dick. <laughs> I, I hope my buddy gets you. Yeah, run! Wh Whoa! Are you hurt? Is he out of ammo? No, he's almost. Yeah! You better take those guys out. Okay. Use your fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I need, Rob? I need, I, I need more medical supplies. Oh, what's he at? Uh, oh, you don't need him. You don't need to be healed. You're good. But we are in a precarious situation where we might not be able to make any more progress fairly soon. I the applaud game. the pacifist uh, playthrough. Um... Oh, I guess I need a key, huh? Yeah, buddy, I'm wondering where the ammo is, too. <laughs> I like that they create a little, like, maze. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 get over here. here. Uh, hey, hey, what's going on over there? Oh, my God. Dude, bro, bro, turn around. Oh, my God. You don't have any more ammo. He's no, just he's... out. Oh my god. Go, hope there's gun ammo in that door. He opened it. Well, there's it. more pistol ammo, and you know what we don't have in the fuck? Oh my god. 
get me a weapon. I know, buddy. We what all. Are you doing here? I I don't know either. Are you talking about the stream or are you talking? About... Please! <laughs> oh my Please God! Please stop saying these enemies at me, game. Man, this is. This game is so uncannily channeling the perfect pacing of Carpenter's work. <laughs> you know, I thought this was going to be a thing game. There's a lot of uh, Assault on Precinct 13 in here as well. <laughs> you know what? I've never seen that movie. It's solid. Um, like, it's... Because that's one of his Carp earliest Carpenter films, makes right? it. That's, that's yeah, before yeah. Halloween, right? Yeah. He basically makes a urban western. Oh, um, he almost didn't make the thing because he wanted to make this western called El Diablo. Um, that eventually uh, that's got the devil. <laughs> the devil is not having a pistol in a game giving you pistol ammo, but allowing you to give it away and soft locking you out of a bunch of early parts of. The design of the thing. Um, yeah, he almost passes on the thing as a result. Uh, the uh, El Diablo falls through. Um, and then later, El Diablo comes together, and Carpenter essentially is, doesn't think he can shoot a Western. And so basically passes on, um, on doing it. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, it is an odd. I thought he couldn't do that. He is a guy that if you, if you, you know, I don't know if you picked up enough on this while um, prepping uh, to for the Thing podcast, but, like, he's not, like, the most confident guy in the world. Um, like, some, like, directors are, like, ooze sort of a kind of a machizo quality, and, like, he doesn't. Well, like, he's he seemed modest, but I would, yeah, but I would have figured that, like, after Assault on Precinct 13, he'd be like, yeah, I can do a Western. Oh, oh my God. Stop shooting, my man. Hey, the dude could stop walking in the path of those bullets. You're not wrong. Hey. Okay, now I'm gonna need you. <laughs> you. I've got one. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> I cannot believe we are pushing through. Oh, uh, yeah, Rob, yeah, Rob, I refuse to, refuse to give up. What's in there? Oh, That's a flamethrower? Flame thrower. Do we just give that to Cruz? I feel like my I mean, boys earned it, right? Yeah, like, yeah. But I'm afraid, here's what I'm afraid of, though. Right. He's just going to spam that. He's just going to use up all the ammunition right away. Yeah, that's a good point. Right now, he's got a really good thing doing, going to be in <laughs> like live bait. And... And he did Hang just on, throw up. Question, and the chat, the chat points the out. He's better at fighting? I think so. My, here's my... Rob, I have a strong suspicion that if we were to put a gun in our hands in this game, we would go... You at like having to control it. Yeah, this no, game, I, I, I don't think it's fun. Um, people. Okay, Kato. Ask the chat. Are we bringing up a, a poll? Should I give the? Should I give Cruz the flamethrower? I'm gonna go pour myself a scotch, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're gonna ask the chat. It's up to them. They can choose chaos. They can make a save first. Where? Oh, I guess I could go back. Was there? Is there a save? In this area? Can you remember details about this game? I don't know. Think about it. I'm gonna. I'll be. I'll be back in thirty seconds. I would. I'm holding off on scotch until my little post stream 
like cool down ritual of uh watching the finale of Tokyo Vice. Got two more episodes to go. Gonna be great. I definitely shouldn't start. I shouldn't move on from beer after this until we got to got to stay fresh for. I mean, I'm pretty basic when it comes to scotch. Um, you know, Glen 18 is great. Uh, Glen 12 is fine. Fine. Um, Mortlock, if you can get it, great stuff. But honestly, like, I'm still pretty far down the Japanese nick of whiskey rabbit hole. So, you know. I mean, sorry to hear that, Dash. Being down with COVID sounds pretty shit. But hey, you know, Tokyo Vice. I have been... I needed something real silly today. I was like, I need something that I'm just going to sink time into and like, it'll be ridiculous and evapid. And, uh, the Halo TV series was just, uh, a you order. fucking assholes. He's earned it. I agree. Okay. Rob, I didn't have a chance to make like a, a thin cocktail, but in lieu of that, I didn't pour, I was about to pour a good scotch and then I said no. And I poured the Kirkland stuff. Good. For oh, you. by the way, this is some video game ass. Yeah, what is that? Um, I think it might be Sledgehammer Games. I'm mm. not sure. Someone at some point sent me something. But, but I did get, there's all this blue coloring in the thing. It's like, oh, that's like its iconic color where you're, you're always thinking to yourself, the thing. In so blue. blue, yeah. And so I've got this scotch, and I've got this blue. What are we doing here, I... Patrick? What are we doing? Just... This is worse than giving the pistol away. I am, I am appalled. It's not even gonna look. Oh man! Oh, you do not need that much coloring. Haven't you done food coloring show with your kid? <laughs> yeah, and Rob, you think when you do that. Do you think you put a little bit in? If your if your children appreciate subtlety, <laughs> if they if they understand like saturation and how it is something that must be carefully controlled, it's not. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That is just. It's it's green. It's not blue. <laughs> also, as Robert met a child. That's how colors By the way, work. Thing I definitely like knew, but would couldn't stop myself doing Easter eggs, right? And yeah. you're like, oh man, that egg is so pretty. Bet it would look even prettier if I mix a second color in, <laughs> yes. and then a third and a fourth, <laughs> and then it's just like brown gray. Uh, yes, I like, nailed uh, it. Uh, Jessica would do a lot of that of like coloring. She's like, I'm just gonna keep adding colors. Like, well, it's just gonna become brown or black. It's like, no, it won't. It just inevitably, it's just brown or black. Um, oh, somebody's asking, do I do I play games through the uh, through the ribbon speakers? Yeah, I do not have the luxury of having like separate two speaker. stereo <laughs> speaker setups. No, it's occurred to me, but like, uh, no, I. I now the now the ribbon speakers are have taken over everything and uh yeah they blow the fucking doors off the joint man i don't know what to tell you <laughs> like driving in the rain in gran turismo 7 is just absurd yes sir okay. oh okay all right so no wait uh so you mentioned uh, what about the backup speakers the backup speakers went upstairs uh to the uh like tiny little home gym area slash uh, Nintendo Switch dock slash, uh, you know, second TV. So uh, now there's a little stereo in the old tuner upstairs. I don't know what I call a tuner. I guess is you know, it's what my parents called them when I was growing up. But you oh, doing God. tuning on that shit? Well, at least. What do you mean, ammunition? I'm sorry. 
Man, fuck you, Cruz. I need ammo. Uh, yeah, vehemently, the uh, speakers. The speakers are back. Cruz, showing restraint, or did I just not give him ammo? I I thought the thing was half full. Oh, I okay. So you still have to give him the blowtorch ammo. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, fine. I said I'd do it. I have to. I gotta go all the way. Uh. Cruise. Well, pretty soon all we're gonna have is <laughs> Cruise and his flamethrower. Uh. Give. Just go on there. Give ammo. Oh, I will oh, say. I see. I'll give him a little bit. I gave Cruz a tiny, tiny little bit. bit as he, can he can have some more. Yes, sir. Uh, no, so, okay, so MK and I have reached a new, uh, like, truce with the living room. So, MK is playing increasingly through PlayStation Remote Play on my computer while I am like watching stuff or uh, playing on like the Xbox. So as long uh, as you're like local, that stuff works uh, remarkably. Works incredibly well. well. Couldn't do it over the Wi-Fi. I will say that the Wi-Fi was like laggy as fuck, but apparently that's a known issue. Uh, but it's, it's bad Wi-Fi. Don't great. be in another room. But like if you're next to the device, it works. Um, it works really well. And that's allowed me to really tuck into some Guardians of the Galaxy. Great game. Have really upset that they're probably not going to make another one of those because it kills of... me because they made the best Guardians of the Galaxy thing, like bar none. I hate this place. Oh, okay, so we did have a save point here. Right. Yeah. This is our this is our like alt save point. Uh, we call it a save point mini. <laughs> okay, hold on, like. So what if I'm? What did I? What did I miss here? I would just bang on that window and be like, "Hey, uh, Mr. Man, hey, buddy." Oh shit! Look. Oh, so how, how do... do you have to blow this shit up? Okay, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, team up over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Gonna Wait, how are we only a thing count one? Okay. Yes, sir. Gonna need you to stay there, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss uh frag out. Oh fuck. Close enough. That was that fine. didn't work. <laughs> oh, there we go. An engineer. Okay. The thing count is just for when they say yes, the thing, sir. right? I need an engineer. I have one. So anyone who's played this game, is there, if there's anyone in the chat that's played this, like, does the ammo situation become less <laughs> dire? Door two controls. We got, hey, we got to get in here, man. <clears throat> oh, man, Rob, people are saying 100%. Wait, have people not played the game? Or does the ammo situation get better? I can't. <laughs> it's a survival horror game. No ammo ever. Well, that's not true. That's not I've true. played a Resident Evil. Like, I end up with too much ammo at the end of those games. Hey, we hmm. have third save point location. Rarl says, I'm playing on easy and there's a lot more ammo in the next level. See, Rob, what I need to do is like, well... Hmm. Pierce, it's Blake. It's okay. Put your weapon down. <laughs> no way. You're infected just like all the others. I can't believe we got Titus Welliver for this. Shit, Captain. I found a report that says the only way to prove you're not one of those things is through a blood test. Now, there's a medical kit near the kennel. You go get it and come back here, and I'll watch you do the test. Find the blood test kit to O of 3. 
Wow, this game anticipates so much about the COVID era. All right, I got the key. Testing shortage. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I just picked up a bunch of... Okay. Flamethrower fuel. Blowtorch ammo. Rob. Wait. Sorry, wait. What's the difference? Flamethrowers and blowtorches? What's the difference between those? Well, flamethrower throws, like, it's ranged, and a blowtorch effectively isn't. I mean, yeah, I guess, you, yeah, look. He, yeah, he's got that. Yeah. The fact that yes. they have that ammo over there, and then when we came into this area, it said, hey, you're going to fight a th a more powerful thing and he's carrying a weapon that I don't have and he wants me to go get a blood test to see who's infected and this well, is the end of the explorable area that we have <laughs> okay all right all right gotta go back out to them kennels well, at least I've already cleared that out because I missed, like, the super obvious. Uh, oh, it was the other one. The blood test... <sighs> Uh, it's recently picked up a specific design to expose the virus entity when it exists in a human host. You can use these to make a squad members really human, also prove to your squad that you're not infected to boost their trust. That's cool. In theory. <laughs> to use a blood test on a squad member, simply equip it and approach them and press the L1 button. To use a blood test on yourself, stand in front of your squad mates, go into your uh, items inventory and press the circle button. Be tactful about using them. They're a rare item and you won't find many so i guess it's kind of like adrenaline like you're you're getting these various items that you're using to manipulate the trust meter based on what's happening what happened yeah get some okay turn blood test to pierce all right, look, I got to be honest, because of this unique situation. I should probably wait, hold on. I'm confused on all my menus. Cruise. Give. He has the OK, well, now it doesn't give me the. Give ammo. Gotcha. OK. Because we're gonna need you to do that. Is there anything else over here? He's killing me. We gotta find shelter. Grabbed everything. We got all this pistol ammo. Look, Rob, when we get a fucking pistol, it is. Too bad we gave, uh, gave away the only pistol in Arctic in Antarctica. I mean, uh, you know, Rob, am I increasingly wondering if there's not another pistol in this game? And that we're just going to slowly hoard hundreds of bullets and then and, and ne never be able to make use of a pistol. There's gotta I, be. I, you know, I am worrying about that. Die. Some of these people are gonna disappear and die. So they've gotta like, they're gonna have to like rotate new weapons in, right? I, I yes, I, that's, that seems, that sure seems like a thing. And I'm just gonna toss these grenades. What's up, buddy? You got the kit? Good. The report said the hypo contains a chemical that reacts with blood. Do it. We'll soon know one way or another. Now I'm gonna show you what I already know. What? Why did you say it like that? And why is it a caulk gun? You took like, <laughs> you took like a liter of blood. Oh! Bring me. 
I guess you get your SMG back. Pick up your SMG. Oh, can I? Uh. Blowtorch, close enough. You, I, oh, uh, oh, hold on, sorry. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, god, he just blasted you in the face. Is this? Did they do that? Yeah, they did. I can see like the dogs. Okay. Well, we've learned some things. Like, for example, Rob, we're gonna get that machine that that, that SMG back. <laughs> So we're we're clawing our way back to relevancy. Um, okay, so <laughs> I guess I will take my weapon away from Cruz using my advanced knowledge. Hey, that seems pretty cool though. The little blood like bursting immediately yeah. in the vial. That was cool. I dig that. Take a uh, well, I don't give a shit about your you know, trust meter now. Um, and in fact, Carter, <laughs> give me and your... I will follow you. Oh! You gotta get him in the room, and then... Yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 you're right. Him. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, appreciate the help, Cap. So I can actually resave right here, get a little bit closer. <laughs> um. Well, no, yeah. Now I'm interested. Like, what will it trigger the cutscene with all of them? That's a great if question. He's, if he's not following me. Are you out of your freaking mind? Well. Um. All right, so then I will equip that. You got the kit? Good. The report said the hypo contains a chemical that reacts with blood. Do you remember how to shoot, right? Soon know one way or another. No, I've got now some. I'm going to show you what I already know. All right, the gang's here. You're all right. Get me a Wait, what? Let's shoot him down. Oh, and now he's switching too. Okay. So once they turn into those things, do they? I think they only die with fire. So I think I actually need to, well, just immediately switch to this. Ooh. You're catching fire. Shit. The fire propagation is burning you too. Hmm. Okay. Putting down trails of fire. Why don't they just give you a you low? You can't weaken them with bullets. Oh, you have to lower their health first. Okay. All right. I just I guess I just presumed because he was there. I guess maybe I'm supposed to lower them with bullets and then he's hitting them with fire. Also, when you die, why isn't there just a load? Why can't you load your save? Why do you have to restart the level? It's incredible. Uh, okay, so. I will. Oh, I guess I have. No, that's I have that. Da, 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 da. Did I not? Oh shoot. Okay. 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 Are you out of your freaking mind? 
Let's set this up completely. Save again. Oh, the drop is there. Can I skip this? You got the. I can. No. No. Out of ammo. <laughs> All right, one of them is dead. Uh, grenade. Okay. Yeah, that's that's. I guess what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfectly lined up. Bang. Bang. All right, oh, take him out. Fuck. Get him. Bro, take him out. Yeah, All right, go. that's teamwork makes the dream work. All right, now you're like besties. Hell yeah. You got anything else in here, buddy? <laughs> like ammo yeah, like or pistol, um, like literally anything else? All right, we'll we'll say we did it. People are pointing out that we didn't blood sample him. We didn't. Right, he didn't blood sample himself. Yeah. Did we use all three? We just saved. Yeah, what the hell? All right, let's do this. Okay, well. <laughs> Not wasting something the game told me is extremely rare. Oh, so yeah, magical Alex, uh, <laughs> point eighty four. You don't have a way to kill him if he was a thing. <laughs> I guess I could be throwing the grenades, slowly whittling down his health, and then just praying. Because I have no, I have no more, no more bullets. Please don't be some sort of like boss. Nope. Next level. Okay. Thank you. Pierce. Pierce. God damn it. Pierce must have got lost behind me somewhere. <laughs> what? Pace! What the hell are you doing? <gasps> is that Pistol Boy? Blake, is that you? Oh man, am I glad to see you? Or is it? That's one of my old guys. Yeah, it's me, you jackass. <laughs> now let's get inside. <laughs> what the hell happened? Look, man, me and Williams were tracking this weird animal through the base, and we lost him in a storm, and then we ran into a Swede. Norwegian. Yeah, the Norwegian guy. He started shouting and attacking me, and I started chasing him, and I lost him in the storm. What about Williams? I lost him, too. Christ. <laughs> also, I don't have that flamethrower anymore. Should I go back? Do you have anything? Okay. No, I okay. Yeah, that's some G that's empty. Yeah, hold on. I want to see if I can look. Who gives a shit if he has? He trusts me, right? Like that doesn't matter at this point. Can I pierce? Yeah, dude, just yeah, dude. 
Dude, I don't care. But what the hell are you doing? Leaving you for dead, buddy. Question anyone that's played this game. Like, does this affect anything? Like... I mean, so the thing is because it's like because you gave away the pistol, it's like every single relationship in this game is going to be the <laughs> uh, like crossing the river with the three animals uh, puzzle. Well, whatever. We're taking that. We like, look, we've. We need the weapons for ourselves. But yes, one one mistake that we made early on is having unbelievable consequences. Pierce! God, the, the spite <laughs> this game has. Okay. All right. Well, we got that. He has. Oh, look what you got, boy. What's he got? He's got an SM. He's got an SMG too. Um. He had a pistol last we saw him. I mean, it makes you know. I understand that he could find something better, but um, interesting. Uh, all right, well, now I got that SMG. I got two fire options. Could give him a fire option if I wanted. We Look, Rob, we're good. We don't need that pistol. Yeah. Actually, I, should I give him some grenades? Dude, we got so many grenades. Like, you want a grenade? Uh, give. Oh, I can't give you. I mean, that makes sense. The grenades would, like... The, the way the AI is programmed in this of this era, <laughs> that would go <laughs> that could go pretty poorly. All right, let's follow the yellow brick road. I'm still so mad that we didn't go down that one path and that oh well, we don't have an engineer oh I can do this one though oh get him it seems like you should definitely just let them do it oh yeah oh yeah like the aiming in this game it has an auto lock on but it's incredibly awkward Okay, so I can. Why do I have? Like, why would I need two torches? Do they run? Maybe they run out. Oh shit! We got some company. Okay, radio for assistance. Hey, wait. Yeah. Well, when you save, when you save, you should test this guy. Oh, is that, that should just be our MO, right? Yeah. Every single time? We got some company. Uh, well, okay, the shooting's actually not that bad. Like, basically, if that little, like, green uh, icon is around your the, the enemy, then you just hit R1. Wait. Did you just throw it on the ground? <laughs> like, you ran out of ammo and said, I'm good? Okay, all right, well, uh, all right. Oh, yeah, because you see there's two here. Give one. 
and then give some ammo. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll never say Waypoint 101 has never given us anything. What did I just get? Oh man, I'm loaded up. Flame grenade? Regular grenade? That's okay. So this, all right, so we may not have ammo, Rob, but I have all sorts of other shit. I need an Can't. engineer. Isn't aren't Dude, get over here. Follow us. Yes, sir. We're screwed. <laughs> Coke, Peppy, Frito Lay. <laughs> I need an engineer. I guess you're not, right? You're a. Uh... He's got a cab. He's an engineer. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the, game, the game told us. The trusty cab. Oh, I, I have to talk to him. I, I, okay, I forgot. Okay. This is just the lawyer of my cousin Vinny. Holy shit, Dom Cats. That is 100% true. This is the public defender from my cousin Vinny. Fucking y yes. God, what a movie that is. What a great fucking movie. Shut that. Let's explore what we already have before we open up a new... Okay. Yeah, I no, I heard that. Sure sounded like the game spawned some new enemies. Oh! Oh yeah, there's one, like, trap. Yo, outside. look at that thing! Hey, buddy, we got... What do I do about him? You think he's all right? I think he's okay for now. Pace, pace yourself, <laughs> says Nick in the chat. Have you used an... Have you used an adrenaline? You only got the one. Only got the one. Yeah, I gotta hold on to it. Yeah. Um. Hold on, so uh, I gotta give him... Some ammo, so I don't forget. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget this box exists. Um. Uh. Give. Yes, now we got everything. No, you. P pace, you're good. <laughs> Fine. Face, I believe in you. This is way out of control. Pace, just don't worry about it. Okay, so I gotta unlock something else. Pace, are you just not? Ah! Oh! Okay, right. Uh. Is Pace cool now? Did he just? Pace just needed to get out of his that system. Rules. This is a this is a high that stakes situation. Rules. I can't even I can't even fault him. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean my monitor tomorrow because I'm just spitting all over it. This game is causing me to have an aneurysm.
I legit love that like he panic fired and yeah. like, realized like I got to get together. I right? sorry. And, and as Elvis, the culture advisor, points out, you did just come out from behind the corner really suddenly. I did. That is that is a hundred percent true. But he did go from like I'm gonna I'm gonna desert all everyone here to. I'm, gonna look I'm good now. Right. I wasn't okay, but I'm better now. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Now, also remember, we've had we've got some. I I think okay. Look, like that's a repetitive animation at this point, and we've only seen it twice. And we'll probably see it like 20 more times. I think that kind of rules that they react to the stuff in the environment like that. Lost contact with the Meta Center today. We sent a team up to investigate, but then lost contact with them in the storm. They were due to check in over five hours ago, but there's no way I'm going to send anyone else out in this weather. Uh oh. Stay the hell away from me. I'm warning you. Williams, I need your help. Bullshit. You're infected just like the rest. Come any closer and I'll fry your ass. Listen, I found Pace. I just need to get into the comm room to call for assistance. Do you have access? Now, I've got access. But I ain't going nowhere with all those things out there. You kill them, and I'll help get us out of here. Kill all walkers. Okay, so I can't test myself. But I have to go kill these enemies. Okay. Is that a walker? Is that what we're calling? Well, I guess because what we just killed were thing beasts, right? So if I go into objectives, no. Wa okay, so the walkers are outside. My guess is that's what those are. We got <laughs> what? Excuse me. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Crushing it. Not freaked out at all. So even though these things are walking around, it's more of a scuttle, and so that doesn't count. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know if walkers are... Th don't attempt to take... On I, I was literally just about to ask, are walkers like the creatures we just fought where you have to take their health down and then flame them. Don't attempt to take on any self-repairing alien enemy without the ability to cook them. Flame weaponry is the <laughs> is the only way to kill large enemies. When attacking a target, be sure to administer enough fuel to ignite them, but be aware that the environment and squad members could become part of the barbecue. <laughs> so true. You know when this would have been useful, Rob? is in the previous encounter when I died multiple times because I yes. was just... <laughs> the flamethrower can also be used to lay down firewalls that we can use to pen enemy targets. Interesting. Okay, as you pointed out, when I the part of the reason I was dying was because yeah. the fire was persistent. And so if you have, let's say, multiple enemies, you could sort of like cordon off one of them while you're dealing with that seems a little excessive for a yeah. game of this type, but the fact that it's built into the systems is kind of neat. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, I appreciate how many, like, things this game is trying. I mean, this lines up with the way people have, like, talk about this game. Um, and that it, you know, its ambitions outstrip its execution, but it just, it also just keeps going. Um, oh, yeah, all right. That was another one of those. Uh, all right, I got another blood test. All right, let's save again. Rob, this is becoming, you know, Route B is becoming Route A. <laughs> we're good. We don't need that pistol. Where we're going, we don't need pistols. When we get a pistol, it's going to be incredible.
Rob. What's that? Rob. Is that the, is that a flamethrower? Rob. Yep. That that's a flamethrower. We are just <laughs> rich with weaponry. <laughs> Um, can you give a character multiple weapons? Hell yeah. No, they can have one. All right. It makes more sense that he should have the SMG and then I could switch to. All right. Okay. Incredible. Incredible. Well, let's save again. <laughs> this is what I do when I play these games. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, oh, okay, I did one incremental thing. If it's literally right there, I'll just save again. All right. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to go back outside. Oh. Uh -oh. Or right not. There. That's a walker. Uh, hold on. All right. So we are. The order of our operations was that. Uh, he is going to hit the machine gun fire. I'm going to do the flamethrower. So I'm going to switch. To my regular grenade. Yeah. Um, But then, and then switch to, I, I, I have a lot of, all right, blowtorch, sure. Okay. Is it not going to come through? Did I That was a break? scripted door destroyed earlier. <sighs> yep, okay. All right. So I think I'll throw my grenade. Oh, wow, that opened the door? Yeah. Okay. I have to aim. I was aiming. I was aiming down, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this decision to have an auto go to the start of the level two. It's like it's who unbelievable. Like, like who yeah, would you know do what? that? I'm gonna Iron Man this. I'm going to I'm going to push through and do all the chapters in one go. Game presents a save spot right before a major encounter. No, no, no. You want to start about like 30 minutes before you just you know what? You want to do it like Rob does. You just want you just want to optimize. Um, okay, actually, hold on. So, I think this is part of what I'm, so I can't, I can be doing this, although you can't, you can't like fully turn to auto aim. You can just sort of, hey, buddy. Can you just go up and use a. Hold on. We we never did we never did the thing we were talking about. Um. Oh, I kind of like the suspense. Yeah, you want to just leave it? You don't want to do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So we had the right idea. I didn't really get the I didn't get the the health uh part in the UI on this one, but maybe that's because I was just completely. Fucking up the attack. Um. <laughs> Immediately chill. All right, I, I had the right idea though. I'm gonna still stick with that. Just can you just? Okay. Okay, now.
Look, it ran away. Oh! Got him. Okay, okay, that was kind of awesome that the yeah. that guy took over. So, in so many in so many games, survival of horror or not, that character would not do shit. We don't right. fuck. Oh my god! Wait, did he just? He fuck just you flicked off? me off. Rob, I've turned a lot of corners on this game. Every time I feel like I turn a corner, I turn another corner. That little sequence right there. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yes. <laughs> but then the flip off. Yes. I. For no reason, but... But you're right, like the character was not static. Like, yeah, in most games, I fully expected that, that thing was around the character, around the corner, and probably kill him and make you fail. That's what I thought was going to happen. I was like, oh, you got, like, he got past you. And right, like you didn't, def you didn't defend the helpless yeah. NPC, or uh, he would be behind a bunch of boxes and yeah. not actually do anything and be like, hey, like, actually, I really need you guys to go take care of this yourself. Um, that is really. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, it's getting late by you. Let's go see if we can find one more walker, and then we will. We will let's see if we, can, we let's see if we can just get the walkers and get to this radio room. Okay. All right. Is that okay with you, Kato? All right. Oh. Well, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry, funny. we missed some poetry. Damn it. <laughs> Um. Uh, all right. It's, uh, oh, it's, okay. So it bu it busted open a new area. That's cool. I wonder if that was the same one that we saw before. Ooh, the era of extremely low res background things. Easter egg pictures. Of yeah, those are just scanned developer <laughs> photos. <laughs> what do you want? You want me to shoot it with my gun? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. P Pace, are you cool? <laughs> Did that freak you out? No, Pace is good. Uh, it was, yeah, art. Yeah, no, yeah, it was the same as always. Hey, you gotta come with me. Oh shit! Oh man, he's just fucking him up. Uh, wait, did he what say? Did he say? Did he go say good bitch? Can we rewind What's the tape? Up, my good bitch. Can we rewind the tape? Rob. Yeah. What's up, my good bitch? <laughs> We're gonna protect Pace at all costs. If I have to hack this game, Pace is coming home. What if he's thinged? Oh, oh no! Shit. God damn it! I keep no. doing that. Uh, no, I've protected myself. I've created a. You read that system? So by default, the game sort of like. Sh Shoots no. it low. Are you, are you seeing that? Yeah, I am. That's crazy. How many? Oh boy. Oh boy. Patrick. What? What? What the fuck? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not really sure well, how this is. <laughs> Amy, it didn't seem to do anything. Um. No, in first person, it did not seem to actually um, be doing very much. Um, oh, okay. People are saying the blowtorch shoots, shoots low. The flamethrower shoots normal. 
So I wonder if if the idea there is that like, well, you're losing the you're using the blowtorch in order to like set the ground, and then using the flamethrower in order to what's this? <laughs> the stun gun, capable of misering a five thousand volt charge. The stun gun will temporarily disable a target and cause them to drop their weapon. Okay, great to, as an alternative to killing a potential squad member who is behaving that's in a so hostile good. manner. But that's how you can like calm some like it's you're freaked out. We need to put you on ice. Be warned using the stun gun on a squad member will cause them to lose some trust in you. Is it possible that later we would have found the stun gun, but not gotten the tutorial prompt and not known like never used it? It's a great question. <laughs> um. OK, well, uh, then I will stick with the flamethrower. We will go this way. This he's going to bust through. Wait, left. Oh. Can get him. Got him now. Is that walker back up? Oh no, we got the prompt. It said two or three. <laughs> so so we're, we're, we're good. Uh, all right, so we don't have a medic, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and use a little bit of juice on me. Got plenty. Okay, so can't open these. Lockers are the only ones that actually sort of open up. Alright, got another one of those. I'm starting to wonder if when the game says it's rare, like what it means by rare, because now we're up to three. No, can I close that? Thank you. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. You can heal him. Yeah, he should be he should be okay for a little bit. Okay. Oh. Bro, we're clear. Or maybe not. No, just the small ones. Yeah, he he's got this. Yeah, pace pace is stone cold killer. His health is full. Yeah. He, okay. You know, maybe he's a little panicked, but I think it, it, I, the whole thing was like, take him away from the spot that he was in. Let's go. Come back to this area of confidence. Look. Fucking just left to right, left to right. But does he panic again if we go back to the scene? Does he regain the anxiety? No. He's regained that center of gravity. Okay, that's good to know. That's an exploitable part of how these <laughs> these AI systems work. Uh... Oh, Rob. Yes. Do you remember what I said about crates earlier? Yeah. That I think that's a that's an item crate. Yeah. So we need to blow. We do. We need to blow it up. All right. Can you blame it? Uh, no, but I, I the game seems to be giving you uh, quite a bit of these. Um, like generic grenades. <laughs> Please. What did it just give me? I have no idea. Wait, what's that? A shotgun. shotgun. I have no ammo and I must scream. <laughs> Pistol, we don't need that shit. We're just we're just moving on up. We're good. Alright. 
Is this shotgun ammo? Incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this video game. All right, I'm inclined to like do some searching around before I go yeah. and like finish the objective, but I will go and s I'm going to try and save, go and save yeah. and then we will because I never this. want to fight those battles again. No, I, I, I have a better sense of how the, the, the combat rhythm goes, but I'm, oh shit. God damn. OK, all right. Well, the area is secure now. I need your help. Uh -oh. If we're going to make it out of here alive, you've got to get me in the calm room now. Yes, sir. Follow me, Captain. Okay, well, we will angle. find... We will find out... what the conclusion to the... the Williams saga is... Uh, on our next stream. Um, up on the podcast feed now is our discussion of the thing of John Carpenter's uh, remake of the 50s film um with me rob gita uh and ren which is a, a wonderful uh two-hour discussion about that that movie it was a lot of fun um what's the i forget i guess uh, kind of you tweeted do you want to can you like pull up the schedule up and like put it on top of where people are looking at the the game stream um Kyra did a wonderful Photoshop of uh, uh, pinch hitting legendary um, stuff in which we like had a discussion of like, you know, one year into Waypoint Plus being like, we should announce schedules and also maybe get unique art for like the big projects that we do. Um, but then uh, Kato doing a wonderful job. Uh, <laughs> Kato's face in this is maybe my favorite of of all of them, although <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that he Photoshopped this and then uh, Ren was like, uh, well, uh, Kurt Russell just looks like Rob, um, which she, she was she was not wrong about. Um, so, yeah, so this week we've we've done the, the podcast for the thing. Um, we've done our first stream for the game. We at this pace or rather uh, based on our reaction to it, there is not a chance we will not finish this uh, yeah. all uh, in person. This is this is too good. Um, uh, a week from now, uh, next Tuesday during the day. Although now I'm increasingly believing, what if I just keep asking my wife to let us do it at night? Um, <laughs> to keep streaming the thing, uh, uh, video game. Next Friday, we are going to do uh, The Thing from Outer Space, which is the uh, 1951 film um, that is based on a novella. Um, but John Carpenter has cited this film as being formative, not for just how he thinks films are interesting or scary, um, but obviously was like a, a, a big template for um, what well, really, really a template as much as like how, how to do something different than the film that he actually ultimately ended up making. Um, so they were doing with that is you're not it's not on Amazon Prime, so we can't watch it all together, but we're going to watch it as a group, do a commentary. You'll we'll make we'll make it so that everyone can sync it up and watch it with us if you want to rent it yourself. Or afterwards, there'll be an MP3 for Waypoint Plus uh, subscribers that they can download and sync up for for themselves. And then through the rest of the the month, we'll keep playing the thing. And then at uh, early June, we will actually talk about it. But um, Rob, when this started, I thought, um, well, you and I can get through anything, and this is going to be a slog. But uh, this might be a rough one. And now I've like completely come out the it's other end delight. feeling completely differently. Um, I'm like, I'm like, this is so they don't even try to make games this ambitious no. at this point. And I'm, no. I'm absolutely loving this. Um, it's, 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 it's really good. I now understand what people say, like the people who are pounding the table being like, the thing is an interesting game. Not enough people played it. Um, Yes, its flaws are like more laid bare in 2022. So I, f I fundamentally understand why it's an interesting game. The thing is, like, I am really curious 
what's going to happen when the tutorial training wheels come off a little bit and it becomes yeah. a bit more of like systems driven driving like distrust and like it's a predetermined who's going to be infected like right now mm -hmm. like it seems like all these beats are arriving pretty much like on schedule and so you have like systems that are alluded to i'm really curious if at some point it is fully the thing the video game where it really could be anyone you really don't know like you know who you can trust my uh, question my so my 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 what i wonder is if if this is a uh kind of like a telltale the walking dead situation in which um your first time playing it the illusion of anything could happen is a delight and that the right. moment you play it a second time you realize hey actually this experience was a lot of theatrics um to yeah. give the sense that anything could happen and that you had your experience and that yes you can you can there's a little bit you can take a left turn and a right turn but essentially you end up in the same place and i love that about like uh, how telltale like scripted especially the dramatic stuff and especially that first season the walking dead and i wouldn't i wouldn't fault the thing if that's where it ended up um that's more just like sort of a, a narrative choice and i'm 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 with you. I'm curious to see if that is actually uh, where 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 things kind of go with this. But um, that is going to do it because it is 11 o'clock for me. It's midnight for everyone on the East Coast as I keep hitting A for this cutscene to stop playing in in the, the X as I keep hitting X to have this cut on your scene PlayStation on my PlayStation to stop playing on, on the, the thing. Um, but this was a lot of fun. You can subscribe uh, to Waypoint Plus over at uh, waypointplus.com if you want to. Actually, these two things are for everybody. But if you want to, and even actually the 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 director's comment, or like the commentary that we're going to do will be free in the brief moment that we do it live, and then that'll become a Waypoint Plus thing. The discussion of the game at the end of the month. Um, will be a waypoint plus thing but you can subscribe over there if you if you would like um and perhaps you saw me enjoying a warm decaf coffee out of a waypoint mug earlier and you might be thinking my god to live that life i'll bet the coffee even tastes better out of such a mug <laughs> well and we've made you and, just... and you know we've got that mug available at uh what is the url again uh waypoint general store general store com. Com. Um, we, we're making progress on other things that will be available in the, the in, in the near future that we're very excited about. Um, I, I figured maybe you had the mug of coffee because you already had a drink while you were recording your podcast that you did earlier today for Waypoint. It's Plus a very subscribers. I am, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Dia, Alex, and myself uh, recorded on. L.A. Takedown, which is Michael Mann's first stab at making Heat in 1989 as a TV movie uh, with a crew of, I mean, we keep coming back to it. It is a it is a version of Heat that feels like the porn parody. Uh, did we and, uh, did we determine? I, I know you told me earlier today when I asked in a meeting that uh, whether it was uh, you had mentioned that it was a TV pilot that turned into a movie. Uh do we know where it was supposed to air or was it just he just shot it as a pilot and then it no we so don't actually he knew know it wasn't gonna be a tv series i guess okay um, i got gotcha. you or, or like at least at some point before it was released it was known that it was not going to be a pilot at all it became a sunday night movie gotcha gotcha uh gotcha. so it is it's an experience uh it's it's fascinating to see like <laughs> wow the shitty version of like it's almost like he storyboards it out but as a TV movie before he actually makes a real movie uh, <laughs> six years later. It's great. Excellent. Well, that'll be, uh, is that this Wednesday or is that next, next Wednesday? Kato, is that this Wednesday? <laughs> uh, like, it can, is, is it? It, can, it could be, but I think we can for next Wednesday. That's that fine. It could be next Wednesday. Yeah. Kata, you don't need to work extra to make it work for this Wednesday. <laughs> I just wasn't, I generally wasn't sure. So next Wednesday, that is when that'll show up. Uh, but uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. This was a blast. This game rules. And I'm very excited to uh, play more of it. And uh, if you haven't already, oh, go yeah. listen to our discussion of the Thing uh, movie from John Carpenter. And uh, we will see everyone uh, back later this week for, well, tomorrow, right? You're going to play Dune Spice Wars with Red. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have uh, another episode of Waypoint Radio. So stay tuned for that. Thanks everyone for watching.
good night, have a nice sleep. Hopefully my child actually had an ear infection and she had amoxicillin and she's not going to be up for two hours like she was last night. So we'll pray for everybody. Um, Fingers as crossed. We, as we take this dream out. Prayers up for Patrick. <laughs> Everything's the same You waste away